eBay purchase video um, that we're just gonna run through quick here. It's Saturday morning. I'm gonna get hauling manure. We got a couple guys coming in to put tires on a, on a truck. James and Joe are gonna put tires on um, truck 14. Uh, this is a seat for the forklift here that I ordered on eBay. And I got this the other day, and we've got a couple other items. They're they're boring items that we purchased before on eBay. This forklift I took in uh, the 20th of January to fix and it came back and it was not only partially fixed. We're, we've got to finish the repair. I don't know if I'll go into a whole story on this thing here or not, but I do have the rest of the parts to get this thing back together and one of the items that I purchased for this uh, forklift was a seat for it. Deteriorated, so that's what we got in the box here. This seat um, through eBay was like ninety dollars or something like that. So we'll just open it up quick, get a quick look at it, and um, we'll get on to the other uh, two purchases. This is just a vinyl uh, adjustable seat. Uh, the the uh, I took this damn thing into the. The, well, I can talk about that in another video, but at any rate, the freaking dealer wanted eleven hundred dollars for a um, seat for this forklift. Get this out of here without any further ado. Um, caught in cardboard. All right, so there it is. There. So looks like a decent seat. Um, you know, just a regular, um, regular low back seat to slap on the on the forklift, and it is um, it is adjustable uh, forward and back, and then these um, mounting brackets are universal. Ninety bucks to pay for the seat. So, uh, with that being said, putting that in there, put that on. Maybe tomorrow I'm gonna get all the manure. Uh, we'll go into the other purchases that I've made here. Um, the next items um, I've bought before on eBay. Um, I ended up buying eight open shoulder uh, drive tires. We're going to put these on uh, the C500. They were kind of cheap. Um, you know, the tread isn't all that great on them, really. But... Uh, they're going to work for what we're going to put them on. We're going to put them on the C5. And that, for the most part, is on is, is uh, operated on the pavement. Um, I paid about $300 a tire. It was exactly $300 a tire for um, these new ones here delivered. Uh, they just came in um, yesterday. Uh, these tires here are road... What are they? road road lux i've bought these um tires maybe last year yeah last year on ebay i just sent them out we we ran them a year um i just sent them out had them recapped i picked up the caps yesterday it's got um goodyear caps on there We've been running this um, cap for going into our second year. We've had decent luck with it. And um, the tires that are on the C5, those casings I bought on eBay, had them capped. Now that cap is war. And um, it was this style cap here. We got exactly a year out of it. So um, it's, a, it's a good cheap way to go. Uh, $300 for the Virgin tires. That it's about $180 for um, to have them capped. So if we run them twice, we've got about $240 into a set of tires. Now the tires that are coming off of the C5, they were Virgin tires that were capped. I'll have them capped this next time around. I'll put a trailer tread on them this next time, and. Uh, then after that trailer tire is wore out, we will dispose the of the tire. We won't cap it again. 
Um, and then I ended up buying a couple more steer tires, which I've bought in these uh, before um, on eBay. I've actually got a set of them on the front of the um, C5 now, and they, they have done uh, quite well. I think I paid 680 or 760 for the pair um, of them. They are Road X DX770, and these are Rogue Lux. Um, probably more or less a, a Chinese tire. Um, again, those were $300 a piece delivered. It was actually $22.50 for the eight, eight tires and $150 freight. Ended up being an even uh, $2,400. And um, these tires here to, to cap the casing was $180. 180 for the um, to just to add the um, tread here, which they just add this part. They they um, grind the the old tread off, and then they um, put this new tread on there. And this is a a um, well, the label's upside down, but it's a Goodyear um, cap. Oh, uh, what the heck do they call this one? Um, I'm not really. I don't know what the name of that tread is, but uh, yeah, at any rate. Ah, uh, yeah, it is what it is. And they had um, one repair. They had charged me $25 to fix um, one tire. So uh, Joe and James, they're going to back truck 14 in uh, to this bay here. They're going to do uh, new tires on that. They're, well, actually, they're going to put the caps on there. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to put these on the C5. So we'll kind of do a few tires here in the next couple days. I'm going to get hauling manure now, and I've got to get truck six back together here sometime. Um, we've got all our parts. we just got to find the time to get to it. And i got to get hauling manure now. So... I've got to get this forklift back together. We've got seed deliveries that are slowly coming in, and we've had to um, unload that stuff with a telehandler and or a skid steer. And we've got um, old yeller down here that we need to um, get going as well. I, I've got to get a couple tires for um, old yeller here, and uh, we'll get that going. This is a 1963 uh, Clark forklift. Eight. It's an 8,000 pound machine that we kind of ba brought back from the dead here a while ago. We can get into a story on that here sometime. And then this one's a 1983. This is just a 6,000 pound machine. But I'll go into the situation that we got into with this machine here this winter um, out to the dealer uh, in another video. So with that being said, uh, I want to thank you for watching. We'll catch you at the next video.